This car just pulled a gun out on me, everybody. Mike Blue here, here reporting for Film the Police Portland. This is an urgent tyrant alert. In a disgusting example of cowardice and just stupidity, the security guard at an L.A. Jewish synagogue and high school shoots a well-known videographer, a well-known First Amendment auditor slash cop watcher by the name of Furry Potato. I've been following Furry Potato's work, works for a number of months now, and I really like her stuff. And this is just incredible. Okay, this security guard just... His body language, for one thing, is one of the things that I keyed in on when I saw it immediately. The guy's fidgeting back and forth like he's just afraid. So I think this is a combination of stupidity and cowardice on behalf of this security officer that shoots Furry Potato through a metal gate. And you can, you can, you can see that the camera was a primary reason why this person, uh, something to do with this crazy person's thinking. Because I think the security guard is a coward, and I don't think they're very smart, and I don't think they should be allowed to be carrying a weapon uh, in defending a high school. It's just, just nuts. But yeah, the body language is crazy, and the fact that uh, the security guard said, why are you filming the building, is also uh, very important here. But, uh, you know, let's just let the video roll. And you guys can decide for yourselves what you think about it. You can totally tell by this guy's body language that he's just acting from a position of fear. Either that or he has to take the mother of all pisses. And I've already seen in the corporate media how they're portraying Furry Potato. They outright lie in the corporate media already about Furry Potato and says that she advanced on him from the opposite side of the fence and, he, and he's basically, they're trying to make it look like he was defending himself or something. That's not what happened. You can clearly see on the video that Furry Potato was just standing there. He told me he was going to shoot me dead. <laughs> he said if I move, he's going to shoot me dead. Why are you recording us? Why are you recording me? Why are you recording this institution? You know the answer? Said he was gonna shoot me dead if I moved, everybody. No, he said he was gonna shoot me if I moved. I'm on Beverly Boulevard in Beverly Hills at the Jewish Synagogue.
Cross Street is the Grove. Cross Street is the Grove. You can rewind for yourselves guys and have a look, but Furry Potato wasn't moving forward towards the security guard. This guy is just a coward, there's something wrong with his gray matter, and he shouldn't be allowed to carry a gun in public. Fucker shot me! Fucker shot me in the leg! Fuck. Get away! Oh, the fucker shot me in the leg! God ah, As if though this video could be any more insane, now the security guard has the gall to walk up and start berating Furry and telling her that she's nothing and next time I'll shoot you for real. Take note of the fact that the security guard is also snatching their gun out of the holster yet again, thinking about shooting Furry a second time. I mean, this is just surreal. Where do these people find these goons to hire to work as security? You have nothing. You have nothing. There's a warning shot. You keep doing that, I will show you the real. Ah, oh, this could have shot me. You have nothing. Put your gun down. Put your gun down. You're going to kill him. Don't do it. Put your you fucking gun down. break inside. He just shot me in the leg. This fucker just shot me. In the leg. He hit me in the leg. In the interest of time, I'm going to end the video right here, but I just have to sum things up for a second. So this rabid, low IQ coward ends up stalking and hovering about Furry until the police arrive. And to add insult to injury, Furry being the victim here that was shot for merely standing outside a Jewish high school slash synagogue with her camera, the police show up and handcuff her and treat her as if though she's the criminal. I mean, that's how things work in a police state. You know, they brutalize you, they shoot you, they beat you, and you're the one that gets gaslighted in corporate media. Because they actually said in this article that I'll link below, below this one, that Furry was advancing on the gate. Trying to look for any little thing to like make Furry look bad, because that's the first thing they do when they victimize someone, is they go after their character. This is Mike Bluehair signing off for Film the Police Portland. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please do watch Furry's original live stream because she's my new f***ing hero, you know. And uh, I just have to say, Furry, thank you so much for being willing to literally lose your life in defense of my liberty. I mean, I am just so grateful to you for doing this, Furry, and just thanks. Now is the time in the video when I ask you to dig deep and donate to my Patreon. And if you're thinking to yourself, why should I donate to Mike Blue Hair? The reason is very simple. Would you like the not so subtle satisfaction of knowing that I've planted my foot firmly on the ball sack of the police state? Well, five bucks a month will buy you that satisfaction.